Happy National Sponge Cake Day! So this is a new series I'm starting on my channel about the different national days, the ones that I can do feasibly and the ones that I like. Like National Clean Your House Day won't be one I'll be doing. Just saying. <laughs> so it is National Sponge Cake Day and I did a little bit of research. The sponge cake is believed to have originated in 1615 in the Caribbean. Really? One of the things I'm doing today is buying a new tripod because mine doesn't work anymore. <laughs> and that is what happens. I just got pixie fied. Pixie dusted. <laughs> All right, I'm about to try one of these Dragon Balls. Oh, oh look at this. She is yeah! good. I am in a lean making class. Is one of the sponge cakes that I've been on the hunt for today. Now, it was originally created in the 16th century by an Italian pastry chef for a Spanish lord, and then it became popular with Queen Victoria when they named this the Victorian sponge cake. So after searching around in Tampa, I did find an English bakery close to my house. They also sell other English goods. And so that's where we're headed right now. So basically what the Victorian sponge cake is, is sponge cake, a layer of raspberry jam, whipped cream, and another piece of sponge cake on top. So that is what we're looking for. I just found it. Oh, looks how cute it is. Okay, Tampa people, this is the name of the place. It's Whitfield's Cafe Bakery and home of the Savory Pockets. But we are looking for the Queen Victoria cake. video yes. about National Sponge Cake Day. Yes. And I have to morph it because I can't find the Vic Queen Victoria cake. Right. So, scone with jam and cream. Yes. That's what I want. All right. But I need five servings. So, this is how we'll do it. Okay. You can actually buy the scones oh. in a package. And then you can buy a jar of jam and a jar of cream. Yeah. And do it yourself yes. and save yourself money. Yes. yes. Saving money is good so and it is good. So here we have sultana and cherry, which are very popular. Uh -huh. And then without the cherry. Without the cherry. Yeah. Okay. It has sultanas, which are raisins. What's, oh, the so nice juicy raisin, ooh. not that little tiny. No, that sounds good. Yeah. A jar of Hartley's, which is really nice British strawberry jam. Ooh, yum. So it's not jelly, it's jam. It's yeah, nice, no, you gotta have a jam. Nice texture. But a lot of people, even though the British would say it's sacrilege, <laughs> would just do regular cream because they don't need the extra sweetness that's gonna come from your cream. Yeah, let's not do the like extra sweetener. Let's just do the because the, okay. the jam is gonna be sweet, so let's just do the regular cream. Let's do that. Is that would you recommend that? Uh, that's how I prefer it. I know that's the way I'm doing it is the way you prefer it. British, yes, yes. We'll, yeah. we'll try this way. Okay. Oh my cool. gosh, how cool was that store? So the Hartleys is what we I got for the jam, and then we decided on the non-sweetened one, which is this double cream. And she told me to put it in a separate bowl, so I put it in like a ramekin and I'm gonna whisk it up to get some air in it and she told me to also put butter on it she said a lot of people don't know to do that so she recommends a light layering of butter and then the jam and then this goes on last and you eat it open face and I'm very excited about that so that is what I'm serving for tonight's mahjong game so national sponge cake day has turned into scones day <laughs> but we are keeping the, the traditional sponge cake filling and just doing on a scone instead. So it's sort of still National Sponge Cake Day, the way I'm doing it. So she gave me, um, I bought a package of these and there's eight in them. I have four girls coming, plus my husband's here. So I'm gonna take five of these out and put the rest back in the freezer. So they still stay good. So we can do like a scone Sunday morning too. But these look really good. They smell really, really good. is how you put together the scone. This is what the lady told me at the store. So I'm gonna put it together for you and you can see 
um, how you put it together. It's really good, I had one before. So first you take a little bit of butter. I cut them all in half. Take a little bit of butter. Put the butter on here. Then you take the jam. Again, we bought the Hartley's British jam in strawberry. You can also use raspberry preserves. Put that on the top of that. Okay, so there's that. And then lastly, you put some of the cream in like a ramekin and you stir it up to aerate it to get some air into it. And then at last, you put the cream on top. Like that. And that is how you put it together. And now it's time to take a bite. Oh my gosh. This is so good. It's just all the flavors blend together. So I know it's National Sponge Cake Day, but it ended up being scones <laughs> with the same filling that Queen Victoria used in that sponge cake that I showed you for National Sponge Cake Day. Well, thank you for tuning into the wonderful world of Wendy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll be doing more of these national days as part of my new series along with travel and Disney. I'm refocusing my channel. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Give me a thumbs up so it shows up higher in the feed so other people can enjoy. And I'll see you next time. Bye.